Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Marine Barracks Washington and Center House, the home of the officer's mess here at the barracks. The bell that you see is from the USS Nicholas, which is the most decorated U.S. Uh, warship of World War II. Um, this bell stood on center walk until the mid-1990s, at which point it developed a crack and had to be retired here to Center House. Uh, we keep it here to honor that legacy. Here in the foyer, we have weapons on loan from the National Museum of the Marine Corps, which are historic examples of weapons that would have been used by Marines from the 1700s up until the early 1900s. We also have maces and baldrics, which are on display and relate specifically to the musical history of the Marine Corps and Marine Barracks, Washington. All of these items are on display in museum quality cases generously donated by the Center House Association, which will preserve these items for decades to come for our guests to see. Many of you may remember the library fondly from your time here at the barracks, where we still do all of our hails and farewells. As every officer leaves the mess, they'll donate a book and inscribe it to the officers in the mess as a way to carry on the legacy with the lessons that they've learned here at the barracks. Another outstanding piece of history that we have at the barracks is the painting of the Battle of Tarawa here, which is actually undersigned by every officer who survived from the Battle of Tarawa as of the time that they met here in 1975 for a reunion. The dining room holds a special significance for the officers of the mess. In olden days, officers who lived upstairs in the BOQ would come down here and share family-style meals in the mornings and evenings together to build their camaraderie. We don't do that anymore, but following the parades on Friday nights, we do get together and share food and drink with our guests and enjoy the dining room together. You'll also see around you waterhouse prints that all speak to different periods of Marine Corps history, and you'll see on display the Batterson sword and the Chapman sword, which hold special significance to the officers of the mess here. Now we make our way into the drum room, which is truly the heart of the officers mess here at Center House. The drum room, as you know, is named for the various drums that we have on the wall here, uh, which are all on loan from other militaries that are friendly with the Marine Corps, from the British Royal Marines to the British Army to the Norwegian Army. Periodically, those militaries will join with us for a drum repair, which is a great excuse for them to come and have camaraderie with the officers in the mess. In addition to that, we will do, as you may remember, a reparations night with the British Royal Marines, which is again a great tradition that we hold here at the mess. Every officer of the mess has mugs here, all the way up to the Secretary of Defense. The drum room may look different or maybe oriented differently than you remember the last time you were here, but the traditions remain the same. As you'll see, we have the bell, which was donated by then Colonel Peter Pace when he left here as commanding officer, under which is inscribed, you never lose when you buy a round for your fellow officers of the mess. Now as we finish our tour, I'd of course like to draw your attention to our guest book, which if you're able to make it here in person, we would be glad to have you sign in remembrance of the great time that you had as you visited.